We've got a great show for y'all today. I'm very stoked. Take a look at my audience, first of all. Everyone is holding a copy of their favorite book. I love this show. That's because today we are continuing my Stranger Reads initiative. Stranger Reads. The idea is very simple. Sometimes your best book recommendations can come from people outside your circle. Later in the show, we'll all exchange books, which I love. Um, and I'm eager to hear what you all brought. Um, I hope I haven't read any of them. Uh, but first, today's show is also full of amazing women who have wildly successful careers, spanning many years and including many Academy Awards. Together, they star in the new movie, Book Club, the next chapter. It's in theaters tomorrow, everybody. And our book club with them is already in session right over here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say hello to Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, Diane Keaton, and Mary Steenburgen. <laughs> hello, ladies. I'm very excited to see you again. I'm so happy to see you again, so, Kelly. Yes, and I'm excited to see you in person, not on Zoom, Mary. I know, yes, me too. This is you in person. And welcome, ladies, to the show. I'm a big fan. Obviously, that's an understatement. <laughs> and yeah. we are fans of yours. Yeah. Oh, thank fans you. Of yours, thank Kelly. you. Well, I'm going to talk about this because it's in the movie. So let's dive right in. In the movie, you read The Alchemist, which we all have a copy of. I've read this. I actually love it. Um, so in the story, the character, though, learns what he was seeking was actually back where he started all along, which I love that. So what does that mean to you, Mary? Um, well, I came from Arkansas, and, um, and, and the more places I go, the more I realize that at the very core of me, I had it all as a child with parents that loved me and a community that loved me, and yeah. it's a great place to come from. And, uh, but it, the book also talks about never losing your sense of adventure and that getting lost isn't necessarily a bad thing in life, that it's all yeah. part of the adventure. I love getting lost sometimes. I'm literally about to take a vacation. I was like, I don't want to plan a thing. I just like going somewhere and just seeing like where it takes you. What do y'all feel like from the book? Did you like the book, The Alchemist? Did you like the story, the message? Yeah, yeah. I love this quote from uh, T.S. Eliot. It's a paraphrase. We spend our life exploring and at the end of our explorations, we come back to where we started and know it for the first time. Oh, what you said. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. Well, Candace and Diane, do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to do? <laughs> Duh. Yeah. I, it's funny, though. You, I think when we're kids, I, I'm from a small town, and I remember I was like, I can't wait to get out. I just want to do so much. I want to see so much. And, like, it's funny. Now I live, like, my main home is, like, in a place smaller than where I grew up. Like, it's even smaller. Because you, you realize how precious that was to have space and, like, you know your neighbors and you know everybody in the community. It's, it's funny how that comes full circle. Did y'all experience that? You're both from California, right? I'm from California, yeah. and I don't know about her. You're from Beverly Hills, I think. Yeah. yeah. I am from Beverly yeah. Hills. Yeah. I know. Yes. Fancy. Yeah. She's that, from Beverly Hills. I know, that's fancy. I was from Highland Park. You're from Highland Park. <laughs> that's right. Both fancy, I'm comparatively fancy. speaking. Well, we'll talk more about our favorite books later, but okay. it's also um, Mother's Day this Sunday, so we want to celebrate mamas. Um, Mary. Mary, do your, do your kids celebrate with you? Do y'all do anything special? They do, but I'm a grandmother now, so part of what I'm celebrating is my daughter, Lily, who's just an amazing mother herself. And, um, yeah, it's like the whole... Any excuse for our whole gang to just pile in, dogs, kids, babies, everybody. It's wonderful. That is wonderful, especially yeah, as a grandma great. now. Yeah, yeah I, I love... Being a grandmother, it's so boring to say, but it is the greatest I thing do in the too. world. I do, I know, it's special, it's different. We, we text each other uh, grandmother photos all the time. It's so, it must be so odd too, I have a six and eight year old, but I can't, so obviously I can't imagine, but like, to have your kids be mothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's interesting, that dynamic, like being like, wait, you're a mom too. That's just weird, I can't look at my eight year old and go, I, I hope you do well. Like, you know, <laughs> I hope I did well enough. Um, what about y'all, what do you do, Diane? Leave me out. You leave me out. You're like, I don't want I'm to celebrate Mother's Day. I'm just going to sit here. I'm enjoying it. Okay, well, I gave you wine. I like this. I and like I'm glad this. I have She's it. She's mildly inebriated. I like this I'm sorry I can't share it with you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to drink up right now. <laughs> We're going to celebrate for you for Mother's Day. Let's take a quick break. Emma from our audience can help with that. Hi. 
I'm so glad to be a part of your book club today. The book I brought is The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. It's all about how life can take unexpected turns and shape you into a brand new person. I loved it. <laughs> it made me laugh and it made me cry and I recommend it to everyone. More with Kelly, Jane, Candace, Mary, and Diane when we come back. We are back with the cast of Book Club. The next chapter, Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, Diane Keaton, and Mary Steen Bergen. So Jane, tell us what happens in the movie. In the in the in, in the new book club, yeah, yeah, the yeah. new oh the one that we yeah, yeah. Plug you. <laughs> <laughs> we just how much do I give away? We decide I love this movie so much. We decide Not the ending that we're gonna go to Italy. I know. Um, just always a good decision. Do I say why? Sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I I I me. What's my character's name? <laughs> Vivian. I, Vivian. Do I have Vivian. to do so this? Far, my She's going to get married, and, and, and believe it or not, and so we decide to do a bachelorette party in Italy. And, and so it's, it's our adventures in, in Italy. In Italy. Yeah. And, you know, eventually our lovers, our husbands, our whoever they are, show up, and, and it's like, why do we need them? Yeah. Because a lot I don't of there that is way. us. I got to be with uh, Andy Garcia for a few it's minutes. It was really fun for me. Yes. He had to kiss me, too. <laughs> <laughs> she I hated it. That. She I hated really every hated second. I can't wait to meet all the men here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love you with a little wine. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just awesome. wait. Okay. Mary, did you get to do anything besides work when you were in Italy? Did y'all get to do anything fun? Well, I took Ted Danson, so that was fun. Never and, heard of him. Uh, and our dog <laughs> Arthur, our 17 and a half year old puppy dog, and um, wow, he was. And Ted kind of was everybody's plus one. He took us all out to dinner, and uh, I mean the it's the the food is just and and I she made me get started on Aperol spritzes, which I don't think I'd ever had in my life, and then I had to have one every night. <laughs> Breaking my rule of don't drink when you're working, Mary Steenburgen, that was out the window. Yeah. And it doesn't count when you're in Italy, Mary. It no. didn't count, and no. I had so much fun, and I have no regrets. Yeah. yeah. You just say, I'm going method. That's what you say in that, yeah. in that environment. I should have thought of that. This is but for my character Yeah, arc. exactly. <laughs> um, so the first time everyone here worked together was the first book club. Mm -hmm. So, Candace, um, but you and Jane have known each other for a while, right? Hundreds of years. Hundreds since, of years. <laughs> since I was 17. That's Are right. you serious? Yeah, I, I was. My boyfriend had a crush on her. Thank you very much. And <laughs> She's not holding. I guess a he. You know, she knew where he, she lived, and so he took me to her house, and we rang the doorbell, and and uh, somebody opened it, and she, at seventeen, was on the top of a ladder, and I just remember looking up and thinking. Oh, I never want to be around her again. This is the most beautiful <laughs> human being I have ever seen in my life, and plus she's brilliant, and she's written many books, speaking of books. So we go back, we go back. We do. Yeah. I, love, I love that kind of friendship, and then you get to work together, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Um, well, Mary, we've talked about your music in the past, which I, obviously you're on the right show for that. Um, so you wrote a song for this movie um, that everybody sings at the end, right? Yeah, it was my love song to them. It's, I truly love them and so in trying to write a song I just thought it's got to be a love song to them and it's called Anywhere With You and I wrote it with Caitlin Smith and Troy Burgess who yeah, you yeah. know of from Nashville yeah and uh the four we we didn't have time to get you to sing it so we sang it the four of us sing it to each other I think that's cooler that y'all yeah. did it like yeah we, that's the coolest thing ever yeah. how did y'all feel about singing it fabulous good? it was fabulous. wonderful yeah, yeah. I, we love the song yep. I love you you're like I rocked it yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> I killed it um so Diane were you surprised that she was a songwriter did you know that about Mary uh, I knew that she was yeah musically yeah. inclined and did things like yeah that. she's but this is beautiful the song I just, I know. Did you hear it? I did. And Isn't I know of more musical skills, by the way, because I, I don't know if we're ready to pull this up, but I want to pull it up because it's my favorite thing um, about this interview is you <laughs> dancing on TikTok. You're a hit. Oh, I don't no. know. Oh. I don't know if you know. <laughs> I am not I a saw dance. that I don't, because I'm an idiot. Are you yeah. serious? No, uh, I am not kidding. I was kidding. just in my stupid. I'm oh, not even being funny. Was it to Miley? Flowers. Well, yeah, to Flowers. I know it. I Let's saw see it. it. So Let's good. show it. What? Oh, okay, here no, we go. I didn't 
didn't think I could love you more. And I watched this and I was like, it's the best part is you're like, you're like, this looks like a good spot. And then you go for it and then you're like, maybe this spot. <laughs> and it's, I, that's literally me at my house. I love dancing. I, I, I own it all the time on this show. When I'm home alone, yeah. I dance in my house. And I think even in front of my kids, they think I'm nuts. But I love dancing. It looks like you feel good when you do it. I, well, I had a fun time, but I'm a moron. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. No, I don't Cheers. call that being a moron. I call that feeling free and like vulnerable and like fun, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I love that video. I was like, we're showing it. <laughs> um, so. And her whole Instagram feed, it takes two hours. It's oh, a it's huge brilliant. feed and all of it is, she has the one part that's doors. It's just doors All about doors. Italy. You don't want to miss out on the doors. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you are blowing up. I don't even know if you know this, but what? you have like blown up on TikTok. Like literally. I have? Yes. I have an idea. I don't and what is TikTok? You, exactly. I don't even know what like, I'm 40, I know, I get it. But like, you are, like it's it's insane. Everybody's like, did you see the video? And I'm like, I did, it's incredible. <laughs> I, and you, I think it's, and first of all, I love doors. What are they, like different doors all over yeah, the world? Yeah, I like the doors, yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like actual. No, oh, doors, okay. yeah. I used to do that in Spain. When I you walked did? around in Spain, I used to take pictures because all the because doors in the amazing. architecture, they're yeah. amazing. That's right. Yeah, and I'm obsessed with them. I'm so right, see, see, we have so much in common. <laughs> and wine. So the official title of the new movie is Book Club, the next chapter. So what's a chapter age in your life that you're kind of glad that's over? Mine's my 20s. <laughs> Me too, my youth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's wasted Terrible. on youth. It's life. really <laughs> hard to be young. Yeah, my 20s were really difficult. What about y'all? I, I just remember on the oldest I've ever felt in my life was my 30th birthday. And it was just because I was, I was sad. There was a lot of stuff not great in my life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and here I was, I'm, I just had my 70th birthday and my 70th birthday was spent recording that song with these guys at Harvey Mason Jr. studio. I love Harvey Mason. Harvey Mason, and, yeah. and so that's what we did. And, and if you had told me at 30, on your 70th birthday, you'll be recording a song that you wrote with three legends, and you're all singing, and they're your true friends in life, and I would have... And they're your words. And they're my words, yeah. along with my two co-writers. Yeah. I, w I would have been blown away, but I, I didn't. So the thing is, you don't know what your journey is going to be. You've got to say yes to stuff, you know, that you mm -hmm. might never dream you would ever do. Don't give up. Yeah. 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 Diane, what about you? What was maybe in your life that you were like, that was really tough. I'm glad that's over. Really yeah, tough. Diane. I'm glad it's over. I every day I feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> Day, obviously. You don't. Except I have this. <laughs> and I'm not sharing it. Any with day that didn't have that. Kids, yeah. what about you? Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> uh, you know, in, I was glad to get the young years out of the way. Right. Yeah. And I think now is a good time. And I'm 76, so it, I'm hoping I have a, a little more of a clip to go. Yeah. Isn't it interesting, though, that you think. Like, I remember in my 20s, I was like, okay, I gotta do everything, I gotta do everything, fit it all in, and this is the time. And it's like, honestly, now that I'm older, I'm 40, and I'm like, I'm, I'm having more fun. Mm -hmm. I'm smarter about things, like wiser about my schedule. I'm just, you know you can say no, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And things are still gonna be fine, your career. Like, it, it's interesting, I feel like, with age, just comes wisdom for some, um, <laughs> not everyone. Um, but um, but it's, it's interesting, though, that the older you get, you're saying, like, I'm 76 now, and you're still like you're in this huge movie. You're with friends doing it, and it's like things are still hitting on all cylinders. And I think that's it's great. Incredible. I'm, th I'm stunned and I'm thrilled. Yeah, me too. That's what I was saying. Like in 40, who'd have thought I had a talk show? Who'd have thought my life would have taken this this road? Yeah. And I think it's interesting to say yes to things that you would have never said yes to, and then you have no idea where that will take you. I love that. Um, well, Mary, you've said that the book club movies help women avoid experiencing the diminishment plan. So, what exactly is that? You think? I think there's this sort of collective agreement as we get older that's very subconscious that we're, we're just gonna, we agree to diminish ourselves. And I just don't think you have to do that. And I know there's hard things and part of it's how well you take care of your body and part of it's what, what you're dealing with in life. But I also feel like you can fight it. And um, Jane Fonda, for example, uh, would be an example of someone who just 
doesn't, she refuses to be less vibrant as she ages. Actually, it's true of them all. And, and um, you too. And me too. I do try. There's I a do point care that about that. You almost get more vibrant. I, I think, I, I I think that's agree. the whole idea. You're still alive. You know. I I, I was saying one day that I, my only regrets are that my dad never met Ted. I can't do anything about that because my dad's gone. But my other regret was that I didn't speak a foreign language. And then I suddenly realized, well. Are, you're still alive, you can actually. Yeah. So I've been studying French for two years, which I'm, they all speak languages like up the wazoo and I'm not very fast at it, but I'm still doing it. Yeah. I do it every day. Because you can, because I think um, ageism is a real thing and people think that once you pass a certain thing, oh, well, that's your vocation. You've already chosen what you're gonna do for your life. You've already chosen that. That's yeah. not true at all. It can completely change and you can try new things at any age. And I think with more wisdom, and more desire and appreciation. Yeah, and I think we'll women get braver when they get older. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, and because uh, you know, what the hell do we have to lose, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's like the one thing, you know when people ask you, like what would you tell your younger self? It's like be braver, like don't, don't, don't listen to the, the nonsense, the chaos that right. says what yeah. you should be saying or how you should be acting or all those things. Do you agree about like just growing older and like, you can become more vibrant and more interesting. I think I think that's the case. Yeah, absolutely. When I was a kid, I used to go into a party. So I was traumatized by just the experience of a lot of people, and I would. Uh, but um, but now I I'm just I I have a barn in Connecticut. I did you say a bar? Barn. Oh, I'm more, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in the bar. <laughs> you should have a bar in your barn. She should. I have a bar I'm in sure my she barn. Does. <laughs> <laughs> There's no animals. It's a party barn. <laughs> Diane, you'd love it. Um, uh, yeah, count me in. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? Um, so, D Diane, how, how have you been able to avoid diminishing in your own lives? I'll start with you. How do you think you've avoided that? I've always uh, had issues with diminishing. Really? I like to, yeah, I like to head out. It's so funny how we I'm see afraid of ourselves. Like she's of compulsively them. creative. I, yeah, she is. You think? She is yeah. constantly creative. Constantly, she watching her on the set because we were on these amazing sets, and when you couldn't find her, she was drifting off taking photographs of some. Sorry, I didn't swear to God. Doors. I was working hard. Yeah, you know, she worked hard <laughs> because the part the is director is right there. Yeah, he, the director <laughs> and and the producer are right no, there. I mean, <laughs> I love it, like, she, now how she's describing herself is kind of like, you know, when you see that kid, the, like, six-year-old playing, you know, baseball, and he's just out there. Yeah, like, that's her. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Thanks for this. nothing. <laughs> but it's true. She's right. I love that, though. I think that that keeps you young, constantly being creative yeah. and constantly, like, excited about a project. I've always got so many projects going yeah. on. Not even in the yeah. limelight. Right. Just in life. I like doing things. I think Thank that keeps you... you um, interesting and excited about life. Yeah. And engaged. And productive, yeah. And also, it's so amazing what you've done with your life. Because the it's first time I saw you was on that show. It was oh, like, American Idol, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, I mean, my God, and it's 20 just, years ago. Um, it's so interesting. Yeah, and amazing. look, I'm more shocked than anyone that it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I can promise you. <laughs> I'm still shocked.